Yo, what's going on guys? It's Magma here. And today, I'm going to show you how to install PokeMMO on your Mac without any harm. Now this tutorial is easy to follow and if you have any questions or problems, don't be shy and post them down in the comment section below and subscribe for more tutorials. Now, first off, you're going to need four um, files. So let's minimize this. Now these are the four files that you'll need. You'll need the Poke MMO Launcher, which I'm going to show you how to get all four of these files. First of all, the Poke MMO Launcher, the Poke MMO Client folder, and the Pokemon Fire Red GBA file and Soul Silver or Heart Gold. And you can choose either, but don't choose both. So first off, I am going to show you how to get Poke MMO, the launcher and the client. Now you're gonna want to make an account. You'll have to fill in your user. You have to put in a username, your email, password. Confirm the password and like confirm this, and then register and fill out all the forms needed. Then when you've done that, you can go ahead and download it by clicking by clicking download the clients, and just go ahead and click that, and it should bring you to this uh, page. Click check off. I know the risk and wish to f download this file. Then click this download button. Don't click any of the others because they are all ads. Just click this one right here and it should start downloading. But I already downloaded it so there's no point in downloading it again. Now you're going to need to get the GBA file for Fire Red and the file for Soul Silver or Heart Gold. I'm going to use Soul Silver this time because I prefer Soul Silver more. But you can use Heart Gold as well, either one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put the link to, in the description below, and this is where you get uh, the Fire Red file. So you'll be, you'll go to this site, and just scroll down until you see the video, this video right here, and just below it there should be download now. Go ahead and click that, and there should be a message that says you have to wait like for this amount of seconds, and then a button should appear and go ahead and click it it should say like download now let's just see okay download your file just go ahead and click that and it's just start downloading but of course i already have it so no need and then you just x that off when you've downloaded it now you're gonna want to either get pokemon soul silver or pokemon heart gold you can choose either one but i already have uh, both of them or just so over and if you it's the same for both pages and it's the same for getting fire red just scroll down until you see the video go below the video and it should say download now and it has the same um, dynamajig you just wait for the seconds the button click it to just start downloading just don't need to say that again and then finally the most essential file of the whole tutorial you're gonna need the poke mmo mac launcher now this launcher you will definitely need because without this launcher you'll have to do write all this code and it's really hard but you can just go ahead and go to this link which will be in the description and you go down to older versions and go one two down until you see poke mmo standalone 0-1.zip don't click view just go ahead and click download and it should start downloading the file but i already have it and you just click cancel because I already have it. But what should happen is that you it's down it, it's downloading and when it's done downloading you just click it and it should um, install the Poke MMO launcher to your applications folder and then you can just drag the Poke MMO launcher to the desktop for easy access of course. Now I'm going to show you what to do when you have fo all four of the files. First of all you're going to want to open your Poke MMO client folder and you're gonna want to locate your ROMs folder which will be in it and go ahead and drag the fire red GBA file into the ROMs folder and there you have it that's the first file gone it's in here and it's nothing bad that you already installed the fire red into the game now now if you did download um, Pokemon Soul Silver or Heart Gold it's optional you don't need to install them but you must have fire red to play but you can in download soul silver or heart gold for better sprites like better pokemon images and 
for your Pokemon to follow you around freely when you're walking around in the game. So you can just go ahead, if you downloaded that, it's the same, just drag it and drop it into the ROMs folder. Now you can X that off because you're finished with that. And now you're ready to start your Poke MMO journey. So you're going to want to click the launcher. But since I already installed the, mo uh, the files, you there should be a button that says um, select ROM. But here it says for me select new ROM because of course I already um, installed it. And somehow there's Pokemon Diamond there, but don't worry about that. You just go ahead, click Fire Red and click choose. And it should start the game for you guys. You just, you just have to wait a bit for it to like open up. But it's, it's open here, wait. Should be here now. Should be opening. Yeah, there we go. Now, guys, that is Pokemon MMO. You can just drag it to make it full screen, whatever you want. But that is Pokemon MMO. You just go ahead, type in the username that you put in on the website at the start of the tutorial. Remember, that's the username, and this is the password that you put in at the start of the tutorial as well. Then just go ahead and click login, and you should see one server, which is 0 0.0. Just go ahead, click login, and it should say new character, but I already made two. So you just like go ahead, click new character. You just like choose all the settings and all. Well, I already made one, so I'm going to return back, and I'm just going to enter the game with my character. And here you have it, guys. You have Poke MMO fully installed on your computer with no harm and problems. But of course, if you do have a problem, don't be feel shy. Comment down in the comment section below, and click that like button if you enjoyed the tutorial and subscribe for more tutorials on Pokemon MMO or Pokemon or Minecraft, hopefully. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye, see you later.